Hey folks, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at the difference between balanced and unbalanced forces. So let's get started. Now we say that balanced forces occur when the forces acting on an object are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So if we look at the case here, it says two forces of the same magnitude, i.e. 10 newtons, act on the object but in opposite directions. So one's going to the left, one's going to the right, and we can therefore say the resultant force is 10 newtons minus the 10 newtons, which gives us zero newtons. So this object would stay where it is or it would continue to travel at a constant speed if it was already moving. Unbalanced forces on the other hand occur when the forces acting on an object are different in magnitude but still opposite in direction. So in the case here, we can say that two forces of different magnitude, i.e. the 10 newtons to the left and the 5 newtons to the right act on the object but in opposite directions. That means the resultant force is going to be 10 newtons to the left minus the 5 newtons to the right which gives us 5 newtons to the left. So the object is going to move to the left in this case, or accelerate to the left. And I'm just going to show you a quick simulation to help you understand this. So here we have a game of tug of war, and this is going to help you understand balanced versus unbalanced forces. So let's say we start with the big guys at the back. And if we click go, you'll see that nothing's going to happen. The rope's not going to move either way because both are exerting the same force. So we have 150 newtons to the left and 150 newtons to the right in this case. And that means that the trolley in the middle is not going to move. If we wanted the object to move to the right though, we would need to apply a greater force in that direction. So let's add another guy onto that side. So you'll see this time we've got a resultant force of 100 newtons to the right. And let's say we add initial movement to the right, but we added more guys onto the left. Then you'll see now we have 300 newtons to the left and 250 newtons to the right. So now the unbalanced force is to the left. So you'll see now the overall motion is moved to the left. And we could then balance that out again as shown. And now we get balanced forces where the object in the middle is going to move at a constant speed. So we have balanced forces when the forces are equal in size but opposite in direction. And then we have unbalanced forces when the forces are different in size but opposite in direction. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful, if you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.